All right, like thank you for tuning the channel today. Um, did some videos on the Kubota Geo 14,000 gen set and um, got lots of comments about they wanted to see it loaded up and, and uh, people messaged me. So today we're going to go ahead and throw a load on it. I've got about six hours of run time on this unit. We're going to top it off. Um, we're going to run my house, my shop, you know, everything is it's running today. Um, I've got about, I think I've got two five ton air conditioners, but they're variable speed, so they don't have a lot of inrush. So this generator should handle it just fine. So anyway, you're going to let everything run. I'm going to top it off, look at the fuel consumption, kind of look at the decibels, and uh, give you all some of those readings. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so two of the things we can look for here is I've got right at six hours, 6.3 hours on this thing. So what we're going to look for is our fuel burn. And uh, open the lid for you to show you. We're full to the top. After we get done running it, we'll see exactly how many gallons we put in it for a few hours of runtime. I've already checked all the fluids on it. Everything's good. You know, as a disclaimer, this is very far away from my house. I'm in a vented porch, so I've got a cover. And um, so I don't have to worry about fumes out here getting in my house, stuff like that. So if you set a generator set up, make sure you get it plenty far away that you're not going to get carbon monoxide fumes. We'll go ahead and kill this which is the master for the gen set you will need grab this piece it's a cs something something um it's a twist lock 50 amp you're gonna need that depending on how you're gonna tie in that gets me straight to a 50 amp plug And if you come over here against my wall, you'll notice I've got one of these Generac boxes here. You just open the bottom flap on it. And it's a twist lock there also. If you look up in there. So it looks like it's going to go about like so. Then you twist it and lock it in. I've got that hooked up. Trying to hold the camera and do this same time, guys. Okay, got the 50 amp plug hooked up in. All right, I'm gonna go shut the master and uh, we'll come back and get this started up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. A run, hit the preheat, which you don't need much of. It's pretty hot out today. We're gonna let it warm up for a few minutes and then after it warms up, we'll put the load on it and go from there. Guys, so as you can see, I'm probably about 40 feet away from the gen set. I'm reading right at about 72 to 74 decibels on my phone, which isn't bad. I mean, this is standard conversation. It's very low frequency noise on that gen set. It makes very little noise at load. So we're showing about 6.8 uh, KVA available. So we're sitting right at about 5,000 watts as well. Walk 
away from it. So at about 20 feet, you can barely hear the genset running. I mean, it's not, it's not a loud noise at all. I think most of what you hear is the fan on the radiator running more than anything. Um, you know, I walk around here to the back porch of my house. Let's say that's probably, I don't know, 100, 120 feet. And then as soon as you step on my back porch here, you come around the corner. Um, it's just very quiet. I mean, I don't hear the genset running at all, which is really nice having it out by the shop. So if you've got the opportunity to push it out further, uh, do recommend that. But uh, we're running, that is also running my pool pumps. I'm running the Infinity Edge and the circulation pump. So I'm pulling the watts for that right now too. So. That 5,000 has that included. Like I said, we're running everything in the house like we'd run it on a normal day. It's probably about 85 degrees out today. It's not real hot, but the air conditioners will be running, fans, all the lighting in the house, things like that. Like I said, we'll come inside. Lights are on, fans are on, everything's running. So we'll go check the fuel burn in a few minutes and see how that does. Okay, so we've been running a little bit over an hour, 7.39. And uh, we're still showing exactly full on the fuel gate, so I didn't even drop it off yet. We'll get an update in uh, about another hour. Okay, so we've got a little bit, almost 10.4, so we missed the mark just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do a shutdown on it. Let it cool off. And then we're going to see how much fuel we burn. Okay, so we've had roughly a little over four hours, and we've been about... Yeah, four to five thousand watts average load so that's about 35 to 40 percent load on the unit so we're going to go ahead and turn around here open the fuel cap all right i need to reset my meter so we're going to hold that down Zero it out. Okay. So let's see how much we hold for a little over four hours of runtime at about 40% load. Okay, so
Okay, as you can see, fuel's right to the top of the filler neck where it was when we started. We put about 1.3 gallons in there with a slow fill because it was foaming. Okay guys, so we did the test. We know what we got. So roughly, we know we're right under eight gallons on a 24 hour period running like we were. I mean, that's pretty good. I, I mean, you know, that's why you really don't want to go oversize on a generator too much. You know, you get a big 60 kW generator or something like that, you're gonna burn a lot of fuel. You got a big radiator fan, you're pulling a lot of air. Um, you know, so you really want to be as efficient as you can. You know, if we're just saying, you know, that's, that's eight gallons. So we know I can run 24 hours on what this holds without having to do a fill up running my house. That's pretty impressive to know that I've just got to go out there once a day and top this thing off and I'll be able to run everything that I have. So basically if we want to run a full month, we're 240 gallons of diesel for a full month of runtime. And that's not cutting anything back, you know, that's pretty impressive. So I'm very, uh, very happy with this product. It seems like a really good quality product. Um, this low boy is just, it, it's a pretty quiet generator all around. It's not an inverter, you know, but for as efficient as it is, the size that it is and what it'll handle, it definitely will do the job that I want it to do. I appreciate y'all watching my video and taking time. Please hit that like and subscribe down in the bottom right hand corner and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.